At the end of fan mail number 29, I had several mystery boxes I was saving for a future video, and well, someone sent me this! <laughs> An immediate glance might make you think, oh, it's a fursuit tail. But actually, it's a fursuit tail... ...with power. And hi everyone, my name is Stormy the Fool, and today I'd like to show you the Digitail. I received this Digitail from an anonymous supporter because y'all keep finding ways to blow my mind with gifts for some reason. Not that I mind, of course. I actually quite like it when y'all send me presents. But yeah. <laughs> but this is the Digitail made by the Tail Company. That's right, a company that makes tails. No, not that tails. Animatronic fluffy tails. And that's no fairy tale. This is for real. Stormy, just shut up and get on with the video. Digitales work by moving, twisting, and bouncing in a variety of poses to create unique expressions. Something that could come quite in handy with fursuiting or cosplay. What I have here is the customized 32 inch XL model, reference to my own tail. And while the colors aren't an exact match and it's a different type of fur, from a distance these colors would pretty much blend together. And that's not accounting for the fact that this is new fur and my old tail as well. Old. Hello? Yes, this is Dog. I'm talking to my new tail phone. I'll tell you what. <sighs> Stormy, stop it with the p Anyway, I'm super excited to try out this fluffy gadget, so let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, first impressions. I could feel it tugging on my butt, which was a little startling, and it's very animatronic sounding, which very much pleased my ears. This may be off-putting to some, but I love the noise that it makes. The sound of the servos and the gears just grinding away it really is music to my ears. This is a really subtle, slow, and tranquil move, probably best used as a neutral or an idle expression. Move number two is a little faster, more aggressive, and busier. I can also feel it tugging a lot harder to the point my body is ever so slightly involuntarily swaying. This tail wag could be used to indicate that you're very happy about something, but not to the point you're bouncing off the walls, so to speak. Move number three feels like a combination of one and two. The motion here makes me think of like an old printer head moving back and forth, like going Anyway, <laughs> you can really feel it jerking about as well. This one felt really weird. I could feel my body being tugged around a lot more this time. And the way the tip of the tail moves makes me think of a fishtail that's swaying around. Kind of like it's swimming in the air or something. It's also much louder as the servo motors have to work a lot harder in this move. Not that I mind, of course. Again, I really love the noise that this thing makes. And it's certainly a fast wag. Best save for when you're super excited about something. Short wag feels like the fast wag, but, um, faster. <laughs> it's basically short wag, but with a more limited range of motion. Happy wag is one of my most favorite moves because the tail moves around a lot more horizontally than the previous motions. It has a wide range of motion and will probably get just about anyone's attention at a convention. There's also a slight chopping motion going on at the tip of the tail too, where it's like going up and down, kind of like it's stabbing the air. Really cool. Now that is one heck of a husky curl. <laughs> the tail aggressively curls upwards then slowly returns to its default state. Huskies unite! This move could also be used to show that you're paying attention to someone. <laughs> Anyone ever use those mall massage chairs? <laughs> the tail is trembling, but so am I. No, no, seriously, I can literally feel my body trembling with the tail. I know the move is called Tremble, but this is some fourth dimension breaking the wall stuff here. Tremble 2 looks like more of a hand chop motion. Since this is the extra large digi tail, the movements are a little slower, so this move might look more true to life on a smaller digi tail. You could, however, use this move to show that you're nervous about something, like wondering if you won the MFF room lottery. This one is like the first Tremble, but the tail is standing upright while bouncing up and down. The tail is pulled slightly downwards a few times in between the trimples, giving it the illusion that it's bouncing. And lastly is the high wag move. The tip of the tail spins around in a circle while speeding up and slowing down every half second or so. So how does this tail work? Okay, this is so cool yet so terrifying at the same time. It kind of reminds me of 
dinosaur fossils or something. What you're seeing is the actual naked structure of the Digitail. I was going to show a video of a naked tail in action, but mine is wrapped in this cotton-like material in order to help properly shape the tail while it's in motion. And I'm too lazy to take it off. I, I'm scared I may not be able to put it back on because I don't know how. <laughs> but you can buy them like this. The cables you see are pulled on and tugged about by two servo motors. The big cable in the center controls vertical movement, while the outer, smaller cables control horizontal movement. The design is a lot simpler than what I was expecting, to be honest. Simple, but genius. The Digitail is powered by built-in rechargeable batteries and are recharged with a simple DC wall wart terminating with a barrel connector. There's no USB, so please don't lose this cord. The enclosure and plastic clip also appear to be 3D printed. And if you want a different tail design, don't get another Digitail, just make a new cover. That's right, you can replace the fur covers on this thing. The tail company will send you the prints and patterns so you can literally just make your own. The covers act like a sock for the actual tail itself. Heck, please go in. <laughs> now they could have easily made these things non-user serviceable and glue the cover to the tail bones or whatever, but they decided to be super amazing and pretty much let you customize it however you want. And you really can customize this fluffy piece of tech from head to tail. Th no, seriously. The person who sent me this tail confirmed through Crumpet app devs that there are plans to eventually let you make your own moves. Limited only by your imagination and of course, the technical limitations of what the tail is capable of. The code for Crumpet is also open source, which means there are a ton of possibilities for modding. And some models even have built-in LEDs. There is an LED button in the Crumpet app, but my tail doesn't have them. However, you can still press it and just pretend you have them, I guess. This is an insane piece of furry tech, and although animatronic tails are nothing new, you don't see these every day, and it wasn't exactly easy to just buy your own animatronic tail five or ten years ago. I'm honestly surprised I haven't heard more about them in the fursuiting community. This could literally make your fursuit more animated, and it's not just for fursuiting either. I know this because I read their website. <laughs> Cosplayers and furries unite. In all seriousness, this would, at a bare minimum, make for an amazing conversation piece at a furry or cosplay meetup. Whenever we can do those again anyway. <sighs> I hate COVID. Thumbs up if you hate COVID. <laughs> the tech is pretty amazing and there's a lot of room for customization, but it's a niche product in a niche community during a scary time where we can't share our niche hobbies in public. That being said, <laughs> if MFF 2021 happens, I am most assuredly taking this baby with me. And if you think it'll happen, you should get one too. Again, hashtag not sponsored. I swear, this was a gift. And if you want to learn more, check out the link to the tail company in the description below. And a big shout out goes out to Anonymous Furry for sending me this lovely digi tail. Seriously, you are hacking awesome. Thank you so freaking much for this. I had a lot of fun trying this out, I swear. But yeah, if y'all think I should review more furry tech in the future, let me know in the comments below. And thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, pray to the YouTube gods that you get notified. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> Anyways, see you all next time. Bye bye. Did you enjoy my taily tale? <laughs> Puns. Shout out to Blue Alien Fox who has been supporting me on my Patreon since November 2017. But in all seriousness, thank you all so much for supporting me. And if you want early access to videos and more, check out my Patreon.